Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we got a flip through today of the new Hannah Lynn book, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades, the colouring book. I'm very excited to have this one because I do love these um, ones that are, I'm just moving the camera slightly, um, decade styles. And I already know how I'm going to colour some of them. This front and that is the back. <coughs> I do like these. I think these are absolutely fantastic. I have had a quick look through it. So let's crack in on this flip through. So I love Hanalyn pictures. So I'm really looking forward to colouring into this one soon. If you want to see me colouring this book, please don't forget to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, I will leave links to both Amazon US, hopefully I can find it, and Amazon UK so you can purchase it yourself. I am not an affiliate, it's just for your convenience. So here are all the pictures, as usual, in the thumbnails. Two of each, one, uh, as with the Whimsy Girls at Work, this one shows a the full picture, and then we have a simpler version, a close-up version afterwards. So this is the first one. And as you can see, that's the detailed version. And then if you come in here, we get a close-up version. So there's less detail to colour in. It's uh, a bigger part of the image. So again, this one is beautiful. And even though this is the more in-depth one, it's not that um, detailed. It's not like the fairy tales one where it's so detailed. And there's your closer-up version. And again with this one, that one is stunning. Look at that, I see all that purples and blacks and oof. And there's your close-up version. So you can take your pick. Um, I will do them both, I will. We've got this lovely one of her in the, the old style motor car. And again, the close-up version. So there's less detail and uh, makes it a little bit easier if you want to do that version. We've got a 1920s flapper. And no background, just the purse, just the girl on this. So it makes it a lot easier to colour. We've got a washer, washer day. She's doing her washing. And again, less detail as you can see. It's just just um, taken out some of the imagery. It's gone in for a close up. Rosie the Riveter again, although she appeared in the, the Whimsy Girls at Work. Here she is again. Um, Love it. I think this is stunning. I, I loved colouring the last one and I'm tempted to colour this one but I probably won't because I've already done a, a rosy picture on camera. And then again, you get it without the background so just the, the straight, the, just the picture on its own which is great. Baseball gal. It's kind of cute. And again as you can see more in, in close-up version is the sultry singer i love this one i can see me doing this uh, a dress pretty much in a glitter a glitter pen and again without the uh, background a bit close a bit more of a close-up for you dinner is served so again like whimsy girls at work you've got somebody in the kitchen having a cup and i think they're just lovely she's so pretty these girls Movie star is going to be my favourite one to colour. <laughs> like, I already can see me doing doing both versions of these with different colour dresses and maybe one with red hair and one definitely blonde. Um, but I, I love this. I might even have to buy a PDF of this so I can just colour it multiple times because I can see me wanting to do this one multiple times with different colours. And again, they more close-up version so I might even go and buy the PDF as well. Uh, 50s Diner again this is another one I'm gonna love colouring more than once because it's my kind of thing. It's the 50s and again close-up but that doesn't mean to say I don't love the later ones as well because I do. And we got a 19, early 1960s girl with a little flick in her hair lying on the beach. I'm loving it and again a close-up version with a little sunglasses and then we've got the 60s working girl in the office. Love her beehive. Her hair looks fab. And again, a more simplified version if you don't want to tackle the main one. This 60s girl, a uh, beautiful afro hair, so I can see it's been a dark skinned lady. Yeah, well, that's how I'm going to do her. I think it's beautiful with neon coloured dress and. 
Oh, it's lovely. And again, there's the simpler version, but still just as beautiful. Summer of Love, chick. It's like she's on her way to Woodstock. I like that one. With a camper van. And again, there's the simpler version. Ooh, it's the 80s! <laughs> Very Madonna. I do love the 80s and I like this one. I do like this one. And the simpler version. Again, it's one I'm going to want to colour more than once, so you can see me getting a PDF of this. More, more 80s stuff. Again, very Madonna with very desperately seeking Susan in this picture with the sunglasses and the jacket is quite similar. You know, I think it's uh, all she really needs is a Polaroid camera and it's definitely, and look, the neck gloves. It's just so cool. I'm not sure what she's holding though. I think it looks like a mobile phone. A very old moon. Or like a antenna phone with it. But yeah, I love this one. And this is the, you know, workout girl. So she's about to do her workout. And again you get the simple the simpler version, which I like. Moving on now to a I'd say late 80s, early 90s. They are very, very cute. We've got Grunge Girl. This is the sort of era I wouldn't be interested so much in, but I still will colour them because they're so beautiful. And I like her, everything up to the 80s after that. I'm like, pfft. <laughs> she looks like a valley girl, doesn't she? Like from the valleys. <laughs> like very, very like um, clueless or even mean girls type thing got going on there but they're so beautifully done yeah yeah mm, don't like fashion like that but hey it is what it is and it's still a great picture and I'll, and I'll still color it I don't know if I'm gonna color it and I like the close-up version as well the close-up version is brilliant yeah she's uh I'm not sure what she is but she's on a beach or promenade or something but that's cool I, it, they're so good the way that it, it really uh, brings out the the decades it really makes you think about the decades and I love this one this is like this is like now this is this is us in the pandemic chilled up with our laptops working in bed you know with a cup of cocoa or tea or coffee and if, on our cats well I haven't got a cat but if I if I had a cat that would be me <laughs> and the cute simple vision as well so that is a very quick flip through of Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girl Through the Decades colouring book. Like I said, I'm very tempted to buy the PDF as well, just simply because I love some of the pictures. I'm going to want to do them multiple times, which is great because I've got PDFs. I can put them on the wall. Um, yeah, I'll leave links down below. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of the new Hannah Lynn book. I'm really excited to get started in this one soon. And um, yeah, see you soon, guys. Bye.